Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and welcome to Defect of the Month, uh, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. Now, I've been using video simulation to solve soldering defects for many, many years. And basically, we're using some sort of video recording, it could be high speed, it could be optical, now possibly x-ray, to look at the soldering process look at specific designs, and try and analyze why we have defects. Now we can do this fairly easily today because equipment exists. We can do simple experiments to actually see what's happening even though we can't actually see inside the reflow process. I've been using video simulation and I've produced thousands of videos uh, which I use on my workshops and anybody who comes to any of my training sessions or even uh, the uh, webinar presentations will see some of these videos. Now, when we're talking about optical video simulation, we can use um, existing equipment, like the equipment used for BGA inspection, or we can use uh, cameras with macro lenses to observe the soldering process. By doing that, we can see how the paste reflows, the solder wets different surfaces, and also hopefully we can see defects created like we're seeing in the process, but in more detail, hence we're able to solve the problem. Now we've used this technique at MPL to look at standoff height on components after the reflow and how uh, they change in their relative position. This is the components that then can relate to shear force measurements and possibly the results uh, of uh, thermal cycling and compare standoff heights uh, to solder joint reliability. I've used this technique uh, also on cleaning uh, to look at successful cleaning and how different pressures, different directions of cleaning uh, jets can perform underneath components. More recently, we've seen the introduction of video simulation in X-ray. So what we can then do is actually look at solder joints forming underneath components or in areas that we can't see typically with optical inspection and again try and analyze why defects occur. It's particularly useful for seeing why we get void formation during the soldering process. So video simulation originally uh, came to being due to Panasonic Matsushita developing a machine and then Malcolm as a company sold that piece of equipment which is available in the marketplace today. And they used that in the in early days of lead-free introduction to look at design, process and of course reliability issues.